bila shaka ni Philip Omondi. Tunaanza taarifa zetu ambapo hatimaye jaji mkuu Martha Kome aliandaa kikao na Rais William Ruto kujadili baadhi ya tuhuma za ufisadi ambazo Rais William Ruto amekuwa akizitoa dhidi ya idara ya mahakama. Rais Ruto ameahidi kuweka mikakati ya kuajiri majaji 36 zaidi ili kusaidia idara ya mahakama katika utendakazi wake. Mwanahabari Emmanuel To na taarifa zaidi. So we'll be looking out for that dialogue we have written and I believe his excellency is going to give us an appointment that we are ready to go any time we are called. Takriban wiki moja tu baada ya kutangaza kwa amemwandikia barua Rais William Ruto kuomba kikao kujadili madai ya ufisadi katika idara ya mahakama jaji mkuu Martha Kome Jumatatu aliandaa kikao cha Faraga na Rais William Ruto katika ikulu ya Nairobi wakiafikiana kuwa mihimili mitatu ya serikali tashirikiana kuangamiza ufisadi idara ya mahakama bunge na afisi ya rais chini ya uongozi wa rais William Ruto kwa pamoja zikitoa mikakati hiyo kwa ndani ya mwezi mmoja na kukabidhi mapendekezo hayo kwa baraza la kitaifa la kutoa haki NCAJ shughuli hiyo ikisimamiwa na jaji mkuu Kome aidha rais Ruto aliahidi kuongeza bajeti ya idara ya mahakama itakayosaidia kuajiri majaji 25 mahakama kuu na 11 wa mahakama ya rufaa serikali pia iliahidi kuongeza magari ya uchukuzi kwa idara ya mahakama ili kuwasaidia majaji kufanya kazi yao Spika wa bunge la kitaifa Moses Wetangula mwenyekiti wa baraza la magavana gavana wa Kirinyaga Anwe Goro na baadhi ya maafisa wa huduma kwa mahakama JSC walikuwa kwenye mkutano huo Rais William Ruto alikuwa ameibua madai kwamba baadhi ya majaji fisadi walikuwa wameungana kuhujumu utendakazi wake haswa kuhusu makato ya nyumba na afya kwa wote. Nani ajui hapa kuna ufisadi inaendelea mahakamani? Sio kama tunaelewana. These threats and declarations are extremely serious and a monumental assault to the constitution. It is also an assault to the rule of law. Tayari kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga amekashifu mkutano huo akisema umehujumu uhuru wa idara ya mahakama If there's going to be a dialogue over issues of governance the case must be should be held in a neutral ground but this means that the judiciary itself is being compromised by the executive the judiciary is being held hostage by the executive and we've seen this before You saw it happen under the rule of Mr. Moi and we have tried to question the kind of civil justice not to go to bed with the executive. Emmanuel To, KT News, Nairobi. Development. Wakurugenzi wawili wa hospitali ya Nakuru wao 